what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. You see I got my uh, 3D glasses on. If you've got these blue and red 3D glasses, go ahead, stop the video right now, go find them. Uh, if you can find them in most kids' films, like if they have, uh, I think I, I got bought these real cheap on Amazon, and they came with a little case and everything, but I'm sure you got some at your house somewhere. Grab them if you can. You're looking at Pan. This is a uh, basically a moon that goes around Saturn. It keeps the gap. It's it's in the A gap. And actually, what's nice about this is I actually have some uh, some figures to give you. How big is it? Well, it's 17 miles from here to here. The mean radius is about 8.5 miles or 8.8 .8 miles. Um, it holds open. Now, let me show you. I've actually got the the picture here. Here we go. That's Titan. Here's Saturn. Let's, I like this one down here. You can see where the A ring is, okay? Here's the A ring. That's about 200. It's 200 miles wide. And this is 17 miles wide, which is, I mean, the shape of it is it's crazy cool. Wait till we get and look at the other pictures I have of it. Um, and then all these bigger satellites here, which are basically the moons. Um, and there's so much we've wanted to find out from all these, especially Titan. Titan is, seems to be where they think actually might be habitable for us. But this thing is very interesting no matter what it is. So basically they say that this is responsible for that Inky, that A gap is called Inky, E-N-K-E, what was it, E-N-C-K-E. Yeah, it's in the A, Saturday. And uh, basically this little thing rocks around Saturn every 13.8 hours. So that thing is supposedly acts as a shepherd moon and it keeps that 200 mile radius open, okay? So that's a that's a pretty big gap. And this thing's only 17 miles wide, so they call it wakes in the ring material on either side of it. They call it stripes that basically help keep this thing over. And sometimes it causes these gaps to develop throughout the ring every uh like 100 miles or so and not all it doesn't do it all the time but it's a, it's an interesting little thing but when we got these close-up pictures of it what in the world here's one here's one i've sharpened them up just a tad these were taken these were taken by the cassini um, and we got to remember usually we're looking at big huge planets this thing's only 17 miles so we're looking at something that possibly a, uh, and here's what I was telling you about the 3D glasses. If you've got them, that's an amazing shot right there. I'll make it as big as I can for you. Um, you can really see how it gaps in here, how this comes up, how the look of it actually seems to be. For just, uh, they say that this was created by Saturn grabbing these, and this, you know, basically as Saturn's rings had particles in it. They formed this. This is, you know, what was all punched together in a ball, which just didn't make a perfect circle, obviously. It made a very interesting piece. Um, and I wish you could see that in 3D. So if you have the glasses somewhere or not, come back, watch it again. And I've, uh, so we showed you this. Now let's take a look at some of these a little bit more intricate. First thing I noticed, you know, were these uh, just, just kind of like chop <laughs> right through the center of it. Thinking it could have been uh, you know, photography, something like that. Maybe it was the way it came back. Also noticed how sharp these gaps are. You know, how, how sharp this, like, it just looks like it's very well done. And I guess that could be from particles hitting in it. Like, I'm not saying that, you know, humans or anything were on there. Or, or, but this one is subject to, to maybe... Who knows, you know, this thing starts getting strange around here. This is the, this is the side that follows, that basically, it's just like our moon, for some reason it shows it all the time. So this is the side that showed the Saturn, I believe this is the underside of it that's not. And check out on here, you can see these two, and they're definitely, what's interesting is the sun's lit. Okay, this is lit up here, this is lit up here, shadows over here. Shadows, shadows, shadows. Um, here you've got some strange stuff. But look at these two spheres. They look like two spheres. And then right over here you've got what looks to be... I'm going to bring it up close. 
see how it even has the little darkness behind it almost like you can see the uh, shadows of it this piece here has the same it's almost looks like a, a walkway or something or an enter spot and if you turn it like that you know on its side I don't think I can do it from here um, sure it would be interesting to see which they have done it for us and also you have some interesting stuff down there now I think that we had a war in our civil, yeah, war in our solar system. I think our solar system looks nothing like it used to be. I think we've probably proved that on my channel, at least that Mars had life on it at one time. A lot of people sit there and say it still has life on it. I haven't, you know, lumped onto that theory yet. But okay, so let me see here. We've got these striations right here as well. These stripe one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's check see where there are in this next picture. So. This looks like that's it over here. So one, or the backside have those as well. See the backside, I don't see the have those, but they've got two of those little nodules. Let's see if we can find those two nodules. See, there's two nodules here. Are they in the same place? Let's see. No, because look, there's not all the other stuff above it. So this is the other side, I guess, of the, this is the downside, I believe. But once again, I just thought it was curious. You've got these really nice, sharp cut. Yeah, this is the back. Okay, let's do this one more time. Let's check that part. This So this would be the back part here. Okay. Because that's going to match up to that. It's, see, it's weird. See how these like bubble up and flex? This almost looks like something that's coming across. Um, because you have the strange. It's, it should be dark. Uh, especially with the shadows that are coming on here since the sun's hitting from there all right like this like, this is this is like just amazing what could be out there and this stuff could have been who knows what if they were making spaceships and stuff out of this stuff you know what better to make a spaceship out of than than something already up there and working and flying around and I say that you know tongue-in-cheek because God knows what it is at least it looks like something that was modified here again we've got a single sphere and it's up pretty big I mean let's take a look at that this is gonna get fur you know blurry but you can see it's there and under it is a shadow just like here you've got this and under is a shadow so he actually here's that walk-up piece it looked like we could saw see earlier from the earlier picture yeah, I do believe that's it. And uh, that, what looked like an entrance or something, well, right on top of that, there's a, a piece that has that. Let's go over there and check that out. See, well, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Or maybe it's been chopped out. <laughs> Definitely under here you see a recover. This piece is interesting. You know what? Let's brighten this up because I wanted to do this with the whole time anyway. Let's see. And then go ahead and give it some contrast. See what we get. Or actually the other way. No, that way. Oh, we're going to have to go get exposure. It's that, it's that uh, dim. I did this earlier. That's pretty dim. Let's use the exposure, pump it up that way. Just kind of see what's around it. This is pure darkness. And some JPEG artifacts. I don't know. Pretty. Let's see. What's interesting is everything seems to have symmetry to it. Like these all come out like that. That comes across. These pieces come out. Go up there. This piece right here has symmetry to it. All the way up to the top. This looks like a corner. Let me make this bigger. Let me cancel it and make it bigger. I don't know. 
I love this one though, and I wanted this is one of the ones I wanted to get back with you guys on and have it. All the links will be below. So you, oh, and, and the best thing here, this this uh, we were couple buddies and I were sending this around. This was a, a story from spring of 1931, and you see Saturn, right? And look at this, <laughs> look at this compared to. Let me see. That one would probably be the best shot to look at. But uh, hold on. Let's make these small. Teach you guys. I don't, I don't, half the time I don't even know how to use uh, <laughs> use the uh, uh, that screen flare. It is bingo. Pretty cool. Who would have? Who would ever thought? <laughs> even with the little bumps in it, that's what I thought was kind of cool. That little ridge. And when I saw that in the mailbox, I, I almost fell over. I was like, it, it tell me that these people didn't see this in the future. Um, Wonder Stories Quarterly. I'm sure some of you can remember that if you are in the older realm, or maybe your grandparents had some copies of this laying around. Whatever it was, it was 50 cents. And back in 31, 50 cents, that was a lot of cash. So, all right, guys, much love. It's good to get back to videos for you guys. I'm going to make another video just talking about what's up in the sky, what we're doing with it, what I'm doing with it, um, as well as some other projects I got going on. And I'm going to start making more videos again. So I, I, so I have been really busy with work and really have no excuse now. It's time to get back at it. I got most of my guys. Uh, so I lost some guys under me at work. So uh, I just had to do some retraining. Everything's worked out perfect so far. And uh, knock on wood, we'll be making videos three, four a week again. All right. Peace.